This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at instance versus model based learning in the context of machine learning. First, let us look at what is instance based uh, learning. So what happens over here is you have your data. Okay. Say for example, I am going to do some kind of digit classification. Okay. So I have images. Okay where I have digits like this, right? So these are images where I have digits. Okay. Up to say nine, right? You also have zero, right? So my objective over here is to actually uh, develop an algorithm, which given an input image like this, or say like this, right? It detects this as say zero or two. Okay. So I have these images. I also have say this image as has a label as zero. This is one, this is two, this is three, this is nine and so on. So I have say thousand images per digit. Okay. So I have 10,000 images over here, right? So what is one simple uh, learning algorithm, which I can use over here? One simple learning algorithm which I can use is for every digit in my data set over here, what I will do is that I will compute some features. Okay. Say this is a 28 cross 28 image. Okay. So then what I'll do is that I will compute uh, features like, okay, let me take the image itself as uh, 28 cross 28, right? So 28 by 28. So I compute features. Okay. So 28 into 28 features, right? say for each of these images, right? So now when a new image comes over here, okay? And I want to do some kind of an uh, inference, okay? So for this also, I compute 28 into 28 features, right? So I've done this for the training data or my data which is available. And this is the data which is, this is an image which is coming at inference time, okay? So now what I can do is that for every image over here, right? I have thousand cross thousand, um, basically 10, uh, uh, Im, uh, like 10 digits and I have thousand images per digit. So I have totally 10,000 feature vectors. Okay. Of 28 cross 28. Right. So now when this image comes, what I can do is that I can find out the similarity of this. Okay. With this 10,000, right? With these 10,000 features, okay, uh, basically 10,000 or 28 cross 28 features, I can find a similarity and then I can say that, okay, this uh, image is very similar to images of, you know, digit zero. And hence I can classify this as belonging to, you know, zero, right? Basically this is zero, right? So what I've done over here is that I have stored my training data and I've extracted features and at inference time, I am computing some similarity measure between my input. Okay. And the data. Okay. Between similarity measure between input and training data, right? Input and training data. Okay. So this kind of learning is called as instance based learning. Okay. Because the learning happens during inference and you are finding some similarity between the, uh, your instance and your data. Okay. So this is actually instance based learning. And an example of this is an algorithm called KNN. Okay. So in the previous example, instead of using all 10,000 images, what if I use hundred, uh, images per digit. Okay. So then the K over here is hundred. So what I do is that when an instance comes in, instance image comes in, right? I find the similarity between this instance and this hundred, uh, image, uh, what you call features, um, hundred into 28 into 28, basically hundred images per uh, digit. So I compute the similarity between them and to whichever it is closer, I will uh, classify that digit as belonging to that. For example, if I had given nine over here image, and this was closer to 100 images of nine digit, then I will say it as, okay, this is nine, right? So that is your K nearest neighbor. So this is an instance based 
machine learning algorithm so in instance based machine learning algorithm what you do is that you store your training data or features extracted from training data and then you find some similarity between your instance and the training data and based on that you classify okay now let's go to model based uh, machine learning algorithms right so what is model based machine learning algorithms okay consider this hypothetical scenario where i i have been given say height of a person right or height of many people okay and i have also given their weight right simple example okay so assuming the height is somewhere starts from say 150 mm um, so then it goes to 160 170 180 even more right weight could be anywhere starting from say 50 in kgs 60 70 and so on randomly i'm just putting over here so a person's weight may be he might be say 155 giga tall and maybe 65 somewhere over here another person may be say 160 and he might be somewhere 60 kg there could be also exceptions where a person is 150 or 155 mm tall and uh, maybe 75 kg okay like this you have some weights over here this is the data right some data over here okay so now what you can do is that you can fit a simple model called simple linear regression okay so which will try to fit a line like this okay on your data right some points may be on the line some points may be outside right some data it tries to fit a line right now this line can be modeled as okay weight is equal to some parameter theta 0 plus okay some parameter theta 1 into height okay so you can actually do it like this right this is a very simple algorithm called linear regression which tries to model a relationship between height and weight over here the assumption is that uh, so the these are linearly related weight and height okay so that is what is the assumption over here okay so here now when i am given a new data point okay so i got some data point over here how will i compute the weight now all i have to do is that see this parameter is learned in linear regression when you are um, uh, training the linear regression algorithm this parameter is learned this parameter is also learned there will be some values over here okay so what i do is that when i feed in the height say 180 or something so some uh, weight uh, it will be there and it will compute and it will say that uh, not some weight sorry uh, some parameter theta and theta 1 will be there so it will multiply that over here it will add and then it will compute the weight as okay 180 somewhere around 75 kg okay so in this way you are actually now predicting a value okay so here this equation becomes your model right this equation okay theta 0 plus theta 1 h weight is equal to this becomes your model okay so here you need not store the training data during inference time you are storing some parameters of your model and based on that given an input you are computing the output right so given some input you use the model and then you compute the output so this is your model based learning okay here you don't store any training data okay because what happens over here is there is this process of training happening on your data right to create your model okay so that is what and finally you have your model as a set of parameters or equations or you know a representation right you have your model as a set of parameters right and using that at inference time you compute your output so this is model based learning okay so here you are generalizing for future data right using some kind of a function on your input or training data okay that function is nothing but your model that mathematical function now this could be linear regression this could be logistic regression this could be a neural network this could be a sub support vector machine it could be a decision tree there could be many other things over here okay so these algorithms are your model based algorithms here uh, whereas in instance learning you need to store your training data or features extracted from training data and then you find similarity with your input data okay 
So this could be useful in scenarios like search algorithms, right? Where you want to find similar items. Okay. Whereas here in case of model based, you create your model using the training process and then you don't use, make use of your training data anymore. You just use the model, give the input data at inference time and you get the output. I hope this simple video on a simple explanation on a model instance versus model based learning is useful for you. If you like this video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in another video. Happy learning.